Oh, this might be good. This might be good. They're really low on mana too. Oh, that's BS as well. He's definitely... I missed that. Okay. That guy is literally a boss. Just gonna word it up over here. This will help me track my prey. And this will help me <laughs> track my prey later on when he comes in for a mid camp. What is up, beautiful people? Yeah. It's still at any here. Welcome That's back to my channel. Yes. Today we're playing Bested. No a pretty broken Bested it is. Season 7 Conquest. Not ranked just yet. Just just enjoying oh, the casual, my. no pressure. And learning new rework characters. Speed buff spawns at 20 seconds, which allows mid laner to reach the lane faster. Uh, before the minions clash, he actually dashes out, which is kind of risky, but allows us to clear really fast. So we're gonna spend some time on these chalices right here. Um, taking these. Uh, Basta clear still pretty much sucks. By the way, her two now is an instant cone, pretty much like Ymir. Think of Ymir cone. Not the one that goes like Chang'e's from left to right and you can basically miss it in Billy for no goddamn reason. Um, looks like a colon is way too far. I'm not gonna wait for that. Also, I cannot wait for the dot, so... Uh, we need to ride this man. Uh, I, I, UDD, whatever. I tried to type in dude. Looks like Hellboy's off. Let's fuck him up. Let's go, Jeff. That'll be first blood. There you go. Okay, so we're, it looks like we're skipping on the left mids. Uh, we're gonna go straight for the red. I don't know what this man was doing here. It might have been that he went to AFK. That's awkward. <laughs> might have been went to AFK, but I don't really care. Like, he started moving, which means he wasn't. Oh, we can kill her too. Oh, looks like Bureau Lane is coming our way. We should bail. Come on, Lil. What the hell? Get out of here. I'm gonna take these smalls instead. Oh, looks like she dropped a red in response because she realized that she... Yeah, well, unfortunate. I heard the red. This man just won't give me... Won't allow me to poke him. I almost died for this. This is insane. Okay. We're gonna leave the cat to poke some XP for us and go for the mid cam for the small cams. Looks like the mid cams were up. I didn't pay attention to that. Of course, she was in the red, so that makes total sense. But with that HP, it might be too dangerous to contest. Looks like somebody's gonna die in the lower lane, which is unfortunate. Am I in hell? Both. Whatever. Job Looks like a colon soul the tear, so I offer him to do his own blue. And instead, I am getting yelled at for no reason. Oh, this might be good. This might be good. They're really low on mana too. Oh, that's BS as well. He's definitely. I missed that. Okay. My two just missed point blank. Basically, yeah. Basically, its worst weakness is the same that Emir has. If you are too close, there's like very high chance that you're gonna miss. Let's grab all the jungle camps here. They didn't even get her purple. How unfortunate for them. Oh, Kukulun is mad that we just killed two people in duel lane. Has been slain. That what happens when you don't pay attention. What a man, what a player, what a hooligan. Oh, this Hawa should be dead. We have an ult, we're gonna use our two, gonna use our three. Oh, so they are not CC immune, unfortunately. I was kind of under impression that these Calders, basically, mini Calders, are CC immune to, to an extent, but looks like they're not. She's gonna drop some poke. Is he gonna kill her? Looks like he was short on, on the bomb or something. We gotta pop those, because that will allow Arachne to get some experience later on. And this way, this whole wave is getting in. 
As you can see, there's an icon on top. We just pop full stack of chalices. Uh, but in my experience, it's easier to pop them whenever you pass them. There's no reason to try and overstack them. It's 5 gold difference. 25 for the team, but still really not worth your time. I know there are people who would disagree, who are trying to max this stuff as much as they can, but it's really not worth your attention. Oh, let's kill this man. He should be so dead. Oh my yep. god, get far, idiot. I heard him, and then I saw him, and then he died. <laughs> Looks like Arachne is in mid, which might allow us to take this. Yep. I don't think she pays attention. She's pretty low, too. I'm not sure if I can gank that. Oh, she went for her red. I can definitely gank that now. She does not expect... She's gonna burst some of her abilities here. Uh, we... Oh, I missed my cats, but it's still gonna go our way. Unfortunately, he wasn't able to steal the red, but it's more than enough. Gonna grab this as well, so the dual lane will have some trouble. Uh, looks like Cooler is going mid. Maybe going to our red. Let's catch him. Oh. Alright, <laughs> that was awkward. Uh, Ulr just jumped in onto Odin. I don't even know, man, but we take those. And they have no control over a red. That's amazing. So, I don't know what they were doing in the jungle in the first place. Looks like they got the mini in the dual lane. The worst, like, XP camp on the map. God bless. Let's go, Gonna baby. grab this, grab my red. Oh, my speed buff. I still have 40 okay, seconds. Oh, yeah, I grabbed their speed buff, so that's why I still have 40 seconds. So the timings on our speed buffs are now always going to be off, but nothing I can do about that. Uh, what I mean is that usually your speed timing allows you to track the enemy speed timing if the enemy jungler is not a potato, but that's no longer the case. There's this mace dilemma now that you don't know which mace to go because this whole tree basically sucks now comparing to other items. So I found a solution to this is that you start mace as you usually would because it's very important that extra power allows you for faster clears than most characters. Then you go crusher because you're gonna go arandite, you're gonna go transcendence, you're gonna go a lot of power basically. Let's jump at these guys. I think how about yeah, he tried to ult. The sound even went on, but <laughs> didn't do him a lot. The speech should be up. She's tracking me. This might be tricky. Let's try and do some damage here. Yeah, I know too many people here. Tear might also be there, so I don't wanna I don't wanna die. Let her have her speed. This will help me track my prey. Let's see, this blue should be up. Let's grab it and maybe see if we can gank tier. Or maybe get something out of him. Yeah, Agni's coming in. We should have enough damage to actually drop him. If he gets reckless and tries to ult in place, he should go down. Maybe he doesn't have an ult. I was kind of expecting him to do something like that. Oh, he missed. He's so good. Wait, wait, it's Nox. Okay. Uh, Arachne walks through the path. That's not the play. She gonna kill this Agni though. I think I'm getting secure. It's your job not to die. She should be dead here. Oh, come on, come on. No. Whoa. Well, I choked. I choked really hard. Like, not reaching her with three arrows is too bad. Should have get more patience and reach her with just one. Looks like I lost most of our advantage on Arachne, which is kind of unfortunate. The anti snowball -y mechanics now, introduced in mid-season 6, kind of ruins all the fun. You get so much advantage and then one or two deaths and you're back to square one. And the worst thing is that it doesn't make the games more interesting. 
It just kind of feels unrewarding to really excel against your enemy team. Uh, this hubba should be dead. Let's look at him. I'm gonna pop my ults, pop my three. Jump is all pretty easy. Still have enough damage in our three. Probably should bail here. She might root me and then I'm gonna die, but looks like she didn't have it. I should keep in mind that Nox is actually a support. Yeah, too much damage from Minion. Oh, I'm dead. Arachne actually paid attention. That's unfortunate. I was hoping that she was rushing to the dual lane because our dual lane is very pushed up, but that wasn't the case. Our Odin should really leave his lane because uh, Nox is way too present in mid and he's nowhere to be found. Let's see, there's really nothing on the map. I think I'll just grab this experience in mid until Agony comes in. Looks like there is a fight in solo lane. I don't think they can kill Kukulan Gang! like that. Until, unless he decides to go stupid. I'm gonna look at their speed buff. I feel like it should Enemy be up, missing. but I might be mistaken. Okay, literally all of my teammates yeah, are Yeah, very cold. unfortunate. Let's look at the red as well. And Habwa was in right lane. Cronus was warned, but he never cared. Let's see if we can catch someone out rotating back to his lane. Maybe Habwa, no. Oh, uh, looks like Ulr is here. They're doing the Gold Fury. This man is dead. Let's go, baby. And Habwa is dead as well. They unfortunately got the Gold Fury, but we got two kills off of that. And it might be even three. Let's see what I can do here. Oh no, she still had an ult. All right. Track my Let's back. wait for the speed buff a little bit. Looks like Nox is coming my way. Nope, no need for that. An enemy has been slain. Not entirely sure what she died to. It felt like Odin was out of range of the Yato and he has no dots. I'm just gonna back here for my transcendence and would really like not to forget my relic here. I'm gonna gank this tier if he overstays, but first I'm gonna grab this speed buff. Looks like he did overstay. We have a root, but we don't have an ultimate, so I might not have enough damage to actually kill him. Let's see. I want to secure this blue more than anything else. That's a root. That didn't went off for some reason, whatever. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. We don't have enough damage to actually burn him down. And there's Arachne. Kukulin uh, is dead. <laughs> Should let him go. Mm, those are bad bombs. You should not burn bombs like this. We gotta kite her. She's gonna hold back. And we're gonna kite her again and then wait four seconds until she dies. And this is where you die. Oh, he decided to fight me. That was a bad decision. It's your job not to die. Somehow my whole team is dead. Okay, I guess. So like I said, I'm now gonna go into Iron Dyth. The problem with Mace now is that Yodens is kinda a staple for jungle. Right now you just can't pick it up because you have 10% CDR late game from the pot. So you probably want Transcendence. Most of the time you want Iron Dyth and Bastet, it's really good. Let's mute this man and um, you want something else that he gives CDR and then Jodens is an overcap So you kind of want them early, but you want to sell them in the late game Jeffrey, I'm fragging. So I'll it's in between I'll attack left lane. Let's I'm grab this man Your right tower is under attack. <laughs> He ults up, we just jump him, and he shouldn't be able to escape from here. Let's also grab his tower so he will understand how frustrating it is to kill him, or try to kill him. That will damage his morale a little bit. What a nutcase! 
And before everybody comes from mid, we should just back. I don't think they can do Fire Giant over is in right lane. They really don't have enough damage for that. So let's look at the Ulr maybe. This red buff should definitely be down. There's still plenty of time till Gold Fury. Let's see if this is up. Obviously not. But I think Ulr is dead. He's way out of position. Unless Nox comes in. She has this tendency to come in for no reason. Follow him up, just jump. Nothing he can do about that. I don't know if he had beads, but if he burned them, it would have just been better for me. Oh, this is this is tricky. I am very much dead. And I actually burned my beads for no reason. That was a fat finger. Oh, that's very unfortunate that my <laughs> two just missed. We might not have enough damage to actually murder the man. Uh, I think I can follow that. Oh, not anymore. Let's get him instead. That's half of his HP. Maybe if I go around here. Uh, Habwa has blink for whatever reason. Uh, I don't even care. Jesus, that's a lot of damage. I should bail. I'm gonna just draw these cans while I'm at it. My whole team is like full HP mana, hopefully nobody dies. There's really no reason for them to fight right now. An ally has been slain. They still managed to die though. Habwa finally baby. died, which is nice, considering how much <laughs> HP I yeah. left him with. And Kronos is simply AFK in dual lane. The cat never actually rooted. Let's see, I'm pretty sure we can go over here, but it wasn't that. Oh, I really wish I wasn't under the spiders right now, I would have blinked. I'm gonna probably manage. Let's see if we can chase her down. Uh, I don't think she went that way, but we actually in a good position to gank these two now, so let's do that. Uh, the instantaneous two ruins so many plays for me right now. I'm so used to the old two. I think we got them both down. Pulo decided to turn for the, his support, which was a mistake. Cowboy's locked up, but we don't have enough damage, and I'm very much scared of his ultimate. An enemy has been All right, Arachne is behind us. Oh damn, he missed. If he actually hit me, I would have been so dead. I don't think he can chase. He actually ulted, so I'm out. Meanwhile, Kronos being AFK, I knew in the Gold Fury accidentally killed it, which is nice. Not the worst place I've seen from him today, but now he's just dead. I saw Arachne there blink on the map, for, that means he's dead next okay, second. Literally Seems all to be correct. She's being greedy, maybe I still can find her, I'm not sure. Well, uh, seems like the purple is down. Oh, I can kill this man instead. He's just fresh out of base, which is nice. Finally landed my two. I don't know why he tries to lifesteal instead of jumping away. But really, it's not like he could jump away anyway, so I guess. Am I in hell? Okay. These things have so much HP that I'm healing 150 from my Assassin's Blessing. That's kind of insane, really. Oh. I'm still gonna chase him down, it's fine. We should be able to kill her as well, but oh no, she still has a dash, alright. Can I land the root? Nope. 
Just a little bit of poke, maybe deter her from entering the fire giant pit even more. Arachne is in right lane, we should really go for fire giant here, but instead, Cheer is gonna prevent us from doing that, huh? Let's see if I can zone him, at least we can get the small one. I'm really easy to juke all of his stuff. He highly overestimates the damage that our Kronos does. Oh, he was close to stealing it, but now he's he's over. That's a very fortunate holding ult considering he just wastes his on the Pyromancer. I really need to back. I can buy a full Malice. Uh, by the way, the Malice pickup I think is going to be more experiment. Because I can't get crit. Jeffrey, I'm fragging. Oh no. Oh Jesus. This man just caught the luckiest crit streak in his life. I got melted almost instantaneously. That's very unfortunate. Alright, so not a whole lot of damage I can do to this Nox. But I really feel like she's underperforming as a support. Enemies in right Group up. Yes. I wanna just get in there, but I don't wanna start the fight. Let's see if we can burn Arachne really fast. No, not enough damage here. But if I go around, I'm pretty sure I can kill somebody. Oh, my two didn't connect yet again. Very unfortunate. But my team is on a follow-up, so we should be able to kill a lot of people here. That's pretty nice. Oh, this is great. Oh, they decided to go green. She overstay. What are you doing, girl? They're finally dead. Oh no. Oh no. They're all going down. That's dogs, baby. Hubble might be behind the corner, but the best you can hope for to kill is me. Which won't do a whole lot. Blinking in. Agony's dead, but he is dead in response, so it's totally fine. Let's go, baby! We're gonna get at least a Phoenix off of that. I love I think we should try and finish the game. We have 15 seconds. It might be risky, but if my team actually commits, yeah, it looks like we're committing. I do a lot of damage. I have my ult up. Oh, this is this is risky. I'm gonna die. Shit. Just half a second too long. But I really wanted to finish here. I don't think we can finish. Yep, we're all going down. Literally all of my teammates. Somebody didn't attack the Titan, which is highly unfortunate. Unfortunately, the enemy team was able to secure the Gold Fury because Agni wasn't really paying attention. We have no ward coverage whatsoever. My single sentry ward just died out. It's very unfortunate. Agni is dead, but Arachne burned her ult for that, so we might actually do stuff. Yep, yep. I should be able to chase her down as well. Oh, okay. Alrighty then. Maybe not. I'm just The fact that we had no ward coverage whatsoever kind of played out the part here. Oh, this looks very bad. Poggers! Colin wasn't able to finish off Hubble up with 100 HP. Uh, this might be game for us. If they're gonna rush in the way the same way we did, it might be better because they have Hubwa. Hopefully Agni will listen to my advice. If he decides to defend the tight oh he he just dashed. He he's so dead it's not even funny. Like the man just decided to dash in front of the enemy. Oh look, he's dead. Whatever. I should really focus on deterring Habwa from coming in. Yeah, uh, as long as Habwa is far away, it's fine. I mean, the damage he can do in the Titan is very huge. I think I can. I think I got her. I think I got her. Yep, yep. She pops shell. 
Jesus! This Ulr has the luckiest crits in the world. And they're not gonna finish anyone. Alrighty then. It looks like Ulr decided to go greed and overstay. Hubba for some reason is still around with 100 HP. That's very nice of him. That can actually be game for them. Let's grab the speed buff real quick and just rush to the mid. Oh no, Arachne is dead, she's blocked. trying to save Cheer. Why are you doing this, girl? This is so over for them. Cheer's going down as well. Flame. We're gonna secure her. I have a root. She probably has nothing, and you that's game. Uller is coming in 15. I don't think he alone can do anything. Oh, the right Phoenix is up again, so we need to secure this. Might as well take this lane. Should be fine. I have my ultimate, I do a lot of damage. I think I will focus on Habwa here. If I focus on Habwa and not allow him to come in, maybe kill him while I'm at it. No, it's fine, it's fine. He's stuck. We're taking the Titan. That's it. Pretty decent game, if I say so myself. 27 kill participation out of 38. Full CDR built on the ability based character with the ability to box with crits. Well, feels pretty nice. And that'll be the best head game. Feels feels still pretty strong for me. Probably overtune her. It feels like you can do over 3k damage to a squishy character. You have like three abilities that do over a thousand damage, which is completely not okay. Your new three in the ultimate black blocks too many auto attacks, so hyper late game gods cannot box you, which feels kinda frustrating for them I feel like so they're probably gonna tune something out but right now she's completely broken she's available in ranks so ban her she shouldn't be playing against that and if she's not banned pick her up feels like a free elo so hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and as always leave a comment leave a like have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next one